بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ مرد ذبن علماء صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین کامپلیکس نمبرز The topic is modulus and argument. But in this lecture, I will discuss modulus only. I will discuss argument in my next lecture, inshallah. You can find the link of the math website in the description where you can find the soft copy of this lecture. An important advice for me and for everyone, we must be nice to others. Modulus. The modulus of a complex number x plus i y is the magnitude of the position vector x and y. This is the way to write the position vector of this complex number or any complex number. For example, if we have this number 2 minus 3 i, we can write this in position vector form as 2 and minus 3. We don't take i here, we just write the imaginary, I mean this coefficient of i. And you know how to find the modulus of the position vector. You have done this in vectors. It should be under root x square plus y square. And don't take i here. Never take i for the calculation of modulus. So the modulus of z is equal to x plus i y is defined to be modulus z under root x square plus y square only. The modulus of z is equal to x plus i y is represented as modulus z. On argon diagram, this is here. Modulus z means the distance of z from origin. And you can write this as z minus origin. And you can also learn this as, this is the right angle triangle, so by using Pythagoras theorem, here we can find the modulus. So according to Pythagoras theorem, we have to square these two and we have to take square root. So this is a way to find modulus. So you have both the options. Either use position vector form or use Pythagoras theorem for modulus. For example, if we have z is equal to 2 minus 3i, so we can easily find its modulus in this way, under root 2 square only minus 3 square. Don't take i here and leave your answer in exact form. Don't take i for the calculations of modulus. Now let me summarize this thing here. C. If this is Z, then this position vector X and Y is the position vector of Z. And this is the magnitude of this position vector. And this magnitude is known as the modulus of Z. Hence, if this is the complex number, then we can directly find its magnitude in this way x square plus y square only. Properties of modulus. This is the first property. Modulus z is equal to a. In order to remove modulus, we have to square on both sides. So when we will square here and here, we will get this equation. Make sure when you remove modulus, you write two complex numbers. One is z and the other is z conjugate. The conjugate of this complex number. This is the way to remove modulus. Because complex numbers always exist in pair form. So if we have this equation, z, is equal, z minus a i is equal to b. Check this one z minus ai modulus is equal to b. So first you have to square on both sides in order to remove modulus. When you will square on both sides, you will get this equation. Now make sure you copy this result here 
and then you should write the conjugate of this result here the conjugate of z is z static and this minus r will become plus this is the way to remove modulus first copy this result here and then write the conjugate of this result here you can understand these two properties through this example see we have to solve this or simplify this so first we have to square on both sides when we will square on both sides we'll get 16 here and this will be modulus whole square now make sure when you will remove modulus you must copy this result here and then you must write the conjugate of this result here see the conjugate of z is z static minus will become plus now we just need to simplify this this will become z z static this will become z times 3i and so on and that's the final answer so this is the way to remove modulus second property sorry third property if we have to find modulus uv then we just need to multiply modulus u with modulus v for example if modulus u is 2 and modulus v is 5 then modulus uv must be 5 to the 10 Similarly, we can easily find modulus u of mon v by dividing these two modulus. And modulus u square should be modulus u times modulus u. Another example to understand this concept. See, we have to prove this thing. So first we have to square on both sides and we will square this equation on both sides we will get this equation. This will become 16 and we will copy this result here and we will write its conjugate here. The conjugate of z is z static and minus will become plus. Now we just need to multiply these two and this is what we had to show. This is the other way. We have to show this result from this result. So if you know how to prove uh, this result from this result, then you can also uh, and you can easily do this as well, the reverse thing. See how to prove this result from this result. To prove this result, make sure we must have 16 here because uh, the square root of 16 is 4 so first we have to bring this minus 12 on right hand side and now we need 16 so we have to add 4 here 4 here and 4 here it is according to mathematics rules if we add 4 on right hand side, we must add 4 on left hand side to balance the equation. Now we just need to uh, write this as minus 4i square so that we can take common. This is very important. Write 4 as minus 4i square. Why? Because i square is minus 1, so 4 is equal to. 4 and we did this because we have to take common 2i now by taking z common from these two and 2i negative 2i from these two we have same brackets and you know how to uh, re do the reverse thing write this in modulus this thing in a square form this is 16 and this is 4 square just cancel squares and this is what we had to show this is the reverse thing 
so we have learned how to prove this result from this result and I mean this way and the reverse way this is the reverse way and this is the direct way in exam you can uh, do anyway if the question asks says show this thing from this thing you can do this as well you can prove this thing through this thing as well this is allowed and this is mentioned in the marking scheme of this question you can do anything anyway and this is the question this is here the question is show this thing through this thing if you will see the marking scheme the examiner um, allowed to prove in either way I mean this thing through this thing is also acceptable but we have learned how to prove uh, this through this thing anyway the first part of this question is this is z and we have to prove this thing and this thing so first concentrate on this part we can easily prove this thing by substituting the value of z here and z conjugate here c here is the solution we have to prove this result so we just need to put the value of z here here and z conjugate here z is a plus ib z is a plus ib and z static is a minus ib you all know how to remove modulus first copy this result here and write its conjugate here see both sides are same shown now we have to prove this result this is very simple we just need to substitute the value of z here and here c z is a plus ib and z static is a minus ib now we just need to take i common from these two and here we have to uh, arrange uh, the imaginary part we need to take i from common from these two so this is the simplified form of this side right le right hand side listen when you we, when we apply uh, this static into this bracket then this sign will be opposite so when this static will be applied into inside the bracket then this will become negative hence shown now the next part of this question well we have to uh, prove this equation from this equation I mean by squaring on both sides we have to prove this equation and this is very simple this solution is here we have to show this result from this result and make sure when you square you square you must give a square to 2 as well square this as well so square square and square give a square to each and every term and you all know how to remove modulus see you have to copy this result here and you have to write the conjugate of this result here conjugate of z is z static and minus will become plus same is here copy this result here and its conjugate here z will become z static and minus will become plus now we just need to simplify these two brackets and these two brackets this is uh, the thing which we had to show now the next part of this question we have to prove this result from this result and I told you you can go in this way as well you can also prove this result from this result both methods are acceptable 
I'm using this result to prove this the other way. So first squaring on both sides. So copy this result here and it's conjugate here and this will become 16. Just simplify these two brackets and this is what we had to show. And the other way is here. This is the other way. Prove this from this. We have done this. And the last part of this question. Well, this part is of loci part. Describe the set of points geometrically. So we haven't done this in uh, this. Com I mean, uh, in complex numbers. Uh, but I'm just explaining. I'm just writing the description, and I will discuss this in detail in uh, my loci lectures of complex numbers. So this thing, this thing is the equation of circle with center at 2i and radius 4. Don't worry about this thing. We will discuss uh, this thing in detail in loci lectures of complex number. Well, this is all. We have done modulus and I hope this lecture will help you to understand the concepts of modulus in uh, complex numbers. I will discuss argument in my next lecture inshallah. Good luck and Allah Hafiz.